one of the problems with the latch and unlatch instruction that people don't like is they don't like the idea of turning something off with a normally open contact. So if I had if I had made this an alias for a normally open and push button, this input would have to go true to turn this off. So if the switch went bad or a wire became unplugged, there would be no way to unlatch this output. One of the ways that people will actually have this function is they will use a normally closed button but they will change the instruction type so if you double click here you can change this from an examine if on to an examine if off instruction okay now this is going to work a little bit different so let's go ahead and download and see how it operates you can see here that the output is turned off because your toggle 2 is and we haven't activated this so if I come and I toggle 1 doesn't nothing happens if I come and change this now it is allowed to go on so this is an example of where you'd want to use a normally closed button on the unlatched so you could overcome some of the safety concerns with having a normally open switch unlatch something okay and so you can see here this is how it operates And again, if this unlatch is activated, it, that stack light will not come true. Okay? And it will stay on forever. Now, the, the other thing to remember is if you lose power and power comes back on and this thing was latched, it will come back on. This is a retentative instruction. This was a little bit about the latch and unlatch instruction in RS Logics 5000. Hope it helped. Thanks.